Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start part two of Over the Rhine with Adobe Flex. Now, if you recall from last time, we created a simple web page with a Over the Rhine logo. And now we're going to lay out the content. There's a number of things you can do when you develop a website, a number of approaches. One, you can start with the graphics and weave those together. The other side, you can start with the database and create that super database that everything lies on top of. Or another way is to create components to see how everything's laid out and build from the components perspective. And it really depends on what you're building and what's the optimal way to do that. For this particular site, we're going to use components. So let's review what Chris Wilkie wanted in the site. He wanted a menu system, of course, to navigate with, a wiki, a blog. We'll build a Yahoo Maps community piece, a pod and vodcasting component, a content component, a flash media piece with some type of poster board, and a reading room. And so we're going to lay all those components out today in forms of containers. Now, recall what we have here when we deal with Adobe Flex is we have a components panel at the bottom, a navigation panel here at the top, a states panel, and a flex properties panel. And those are the four we'll basically use today to lay out this system. Now, what I want to do is just use the canvas component as placeholders for the nav system. So let's start bringing out some canvas components. I'm going to bring out one right here. And let's squeeze that up. We're going to give it a color from the Flex Properties panel. Let's go to the Flex Properties panel and click on Background Color. And let's give it a white for Menu. And let's see what we've done on Source View. So if you go to Source View, you can see I have brought out a canvas. And uh, its background color is FFFFFF, which is white. So now I want to add a label to that. So let's drag out a label. And we'll just type in menu. And now there's a placeholder for my menu system. And we're going to do the same thing for the wiki, blog, Yahoo Maps, podcasting, vodcasting, content, flash media, and reading room. So fairly easy exercise today. So now let's grab another canvas component. I'm going to shrink it a little bit by grabbing the corner here. And let's drag out A label. And we'll just type in wiki. And click on the canvas again and change the color to, let's make this orange. All right, let's do the same thing again, just a number of times. Drag on another canvas. Let's shrink it a little bit. Cool. Uh, drag out a label component. There we go. Drag it down a little bit. We'll call that blog. And give it a background color of orange. Really very simple, uh, repetitive task here. Not a lot of rocket science involved. And another canvas. And we'll change the color to purple. And bring out another label. And just type in Yahoo Maps. And this will be our comp this will be our community piece. Cool. And I don't like the color of that. I like it white, so it'll show up a little bit better. So I'm on the label side of the Flex Component Properties panel. And we'll just use the color to be white. Now I can double click on this so I can see the whole screen. OK, that's full screen. And let's take a look and see what's happening in the source view. And we're basically just adding all these canvas components. So let's go back to design. And we've got a few more items to add. Let's add a podcast and vodcast canvas component. Drag one canvas on, and we'll drag another one just below it. We'll go up and we'll drag two label components. And we'll double click here and call this pod 
vodcasting or vodcast and we'll drag another label component on and we'll call this content cool and let's change the colors here let's make them blue okay and the color background color should be blue let's go to background color and let's change the background color here to blue as well and once again well, let's change those labels to white so we can see them good and we're almost done here we only have a few more components to put in let's put in our reading room so let's drag another canvas on okay and we'll scrunch that up a little bit stretch it out a little bit we can change the color here of the background color and we'll just make it uh, yellow drag a menu our label drag a label onto it and we'll call this reading and one more component and we'll just drag another canvas out Shrink it a little bit. Now, if I hit the shift key and the arrow key, they shift faster. You get incremental shifts when you uh, uh, don't hold the shift key down, but hold the shift key down, and you can actually shift the components around a lot faster. Or you can drag them with your mouse and drag them as well. And uh, just going to change the color here, and we'll just choose a green. And excuse me, let's choose. Let's take the background color. Let's choose a green and let's drag another label on and we'll just say flash media so what we have done here is we've laid out the system so we can actually see it graphically this is what we're going to produce okay. this is what we're going to produce as far as the layout is concerned now what's important here let me double click this to go back to the states view all of this has been created in the base state as we move forward, we're going to build the navigation system on this base state and going to show you how to do that in the next video. Now, it's not important what type of component I used here. I could use a panel component. I could use any type of component. I'm going to replace this with the real components as we build those up. Let's run this web page and see what it looks like. So here's what the web page looks like so far once we run it. And basically, we've laid things out in terms of containers. And we used a canvas. Could use a panel as well. Doesn't matter because we because we will be replacing these with the real components as we build them up. Let's take a look and see what is happening in the source. So if you open up the source view, you can see that all these canvas components have been laid out and the names of the labels are sandwiched in between them. Like for example, here's the reading room canvas component and in between that is the label. So as I build up the design view, my source code is being written for me automatically and there's going to be times I'm going to need to go in there and actually work with the source code and the design depending on what I need to do so there's one last thing we need to do and that's save this project so right now it's saved as override one underscore nav and let's save it file save as and we'll call it override two nav And if you come down here in your navigation menu, you can see that now you have Otherine 2 underscore nav. Thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.